close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And I will go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And I. Hi guys so i'm done for today's class i had two classes in total and it was very interesting it's raining at the moment and the weather is so cold i think today we had um 10 degrees so it's so That's cold delicious. and i'm heading back home i'm hungry i'm tired i'm exhausted yep i'm walking alone the streets are empty and I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just got to I think this is Varaki. It was a very long journey and I don't know where to start to explain it. But all the same I got here safely and um yeah it was a long journey and at some point I got tired I wanted to cancel but I love my job so I can't can't cancel just like that. But anyway, it's okay. I'm walking mm. alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own mm. silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town. hi guys welcome back to my channel so i just got to my hotel right now and i'm super exhausted and super hungry so i want to see if there is any place i can get ramen i, want, I feel like eating miso ramen this night so 
I'll go out now and look for ramen and afterwards I will then eat, shower and prepare for work tomorrow. I'm super exhausted, Jerry. It's not easy. I closed from work around three and I said that I embarked on this journey. So I'm exhausted. Not just I didn't just come straight, I went to the wrong location, which is not from me. I had to start making calls, calling the office, and they had to get me a new um train pass, which is my Shinkansen ticket. And no, it's not easy, Jerry. So I'll just go and um yeah. I'll see if I can get me Sarah Man around the stores and have something to eat. And yeah, that's it. Peace. And I oh so I could not get miso ramen because of the language barrier at that place and there's no English um, translator. So I had to go to the convenience store and get this. I was so hungry so I bought different types of rice and sausage and fried chicken and nani nani nani. Yeah, so the next morning I left after work. This is me on my way back to Tokyo after I completed my work at ibaraki so i had to head back to tokyo yeah so now i'll talk about my experience so far in japan i think there are some seven things i had no idea of not until i got here so I will start, I will talk about three different points. First, I will talk about the daily life struggles. Second, I will talk about the um, romantical aspects. And then I will talk about all in general. So first, the daily life struggle. So I'm from Nigeria, which is the west part of Africa. And um, from the east to the precise where we have no train so what i found very difficult to comprehend was the train um the train route i don't know how the train works i have no clue about it i don't know i had no idea of anything so when i got here it was so difficult for me to comprehend it was so difficult for me to understand i got um misplaced or so i got i joined the wrong train countless times i found my way i tried to ask questions and oh but then the good part of it was the japanese people are so cool and so um understanding most times when i miss my train i'll try to oh sorry uh, um, I'll try and explain to them that I missed my way and I'm trying to get to Susan so place and at the end of the day I'll find my way yeah which is a good part of it then the romantical part of it I'll just give you a pitch about all these topics but someday it will be a full vlog where I'll dive deeper and deeper so the romantical part of it if you're single or you are aspiring to get a boyfriend here in japan or you want japanese men or you want black guys blah 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 whatsoever well i'm speaking based on my personal experience and not for anyone so if you don't have a boyfriend and you hope to have a boyfriend especially as a black person maybe japan is not the right choice maybe i'm not sure yeah um um yeah there are black people here black guys here but i think most of them are into white women or japanese or um, maybe they're married in their home country or whatsoever it depends or they just want to have it and that's it but it differs though perception differs luck differs yeah there is luck there is grace there is whatsoever there are a lot of people here that got their missing rib got married got their perfect relationship whatever it is here and i'm just saying again based on my personal um experience you know 
um, if you think you are coming to Japan to get a boyfriend or to date a Japanese, then I'm sorry, maybe you have to rethink or have a plan B. Listen, let me tell you, there is every possibility that it will work. And also, there is every possibility that it will not work. So, it is a 50-50 something, you know. Um, yeah, I think that's the aspect. And then the life in general. So, if you're the kind of person that likes to talk with friends, you want to mingle with friends, you just want to see it happening every second, then... I'm sorry, Japan is not the place because one hundred and one percent of people here are very, very busy with their work or with their daily life schedules. So it is very, very difficult. You know, it is very, very difficult to have that kind of lifestyle you had in your home country, especially people coming from the from Africa or from from um, east asia yeah um i think one good thing about um our our country or our continent it's um even if you don't have there are a lot of happy people but here you might have but then you you are not still satisfied you know you think oh i have this but i don't have that although i know i think generally it comes to life you just don't you can have everything you can't you just have to choose so if you're the kind of person you love party you love friends you love na 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 maybe japan is not the first place or maybe it is again it depends on my personal experience and it depends on the kind of person Thank you so much guys for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe i will try as much as possible to be um dropping vlog please like subscribe see ya